A high number of bear sightings in the Crow's Nest Pass has fish and wildlife and community members working together to try and preserve a safe and healthy relationship with the animals. Yesterday, we showed you the story of a black bear who was being tagged and then tracked with a device. Well, our crew was also there when he was released back into the wild. Alicia Fieldberg reports. They tried every window. Marlene yeah, Antle has seen really several really bears on her property in the past few weeks. Days ago, she had a mom and two cubs scratch at her bears. house window. They're them. hungry right now. There's nothing to eat. And they like the green grass we've got here. Fish and wildlife officers think the early spring is drawing more bears than usual into town to search for food. The problem is when they find an often unintentional food source in someone's yard that keeps them coming back. This can be anything from garbage, fruit falling from trees, or bird feed. They just want to coincide with us, live in the area, and it's all about food. If there's food there, they'll come and they'll stay. Officers sometimes catch bears who get too close to humans, including this black bear tagged as number four. A community volunteer group called Bear Smart helps tag and monitor them. The bears are then moved away from town so they'll learn to rely on food from the wild. As fish and wildlife officers release a bear, they make a lot of noise to try and scare it. This teaches bears that keeping a safe distance from humans is the best way to cohabitate. <laughs> You know, if he be, grows up to be the big male, the bully on the block, that's the bear you want around because he's been educated, he knows. The Bear Smart Group not only helps educate bears, it educates people as well. Officers say hearing about ways to safely coexist with bears has a lot more impact when coming from community volunteers. Antle admits food on her property has unintentionally attracted bears before. Now that she understands, she's spreading the message to her neighbors so she can preserve the wildlife experience that makes her mountain home special. It's a matter of educating the people to as to bear smart and well, what to do fine. with them and how to live with them because they were here before we were. Alicia Fieldberg, CTV News, Crow's Nest Pass. Bear Smart volunteers and Fish and Wildlife tracked bear number four after his relief. And they say that he is now settled outside Bellevue in a spot considered a good area for bears.